You guys, so we took a ride through downtown historic Salisbury, North Carolina today. Anthony's standing right beside Big Brian. Um, I'm Keto Diamond, but this is not a keto video. I'm going to share with you guys our ride through historic Salisbury. Now, it's become very clear we're going to have to do a walkthrough because they've got a lot of cool stuff that I want to show y'all in a really, really clear view. But... Check out what we did get riding. I did snap a few photos so that you can see some of the, some of the stuff more clearly, but it's not super great. Anyway, I'm also thinking that we're going to start an exploration channel just for people who don't want to see this on my keto channel. And of course, a lot of people like historic um, things and they like, I do. Uh, what is it called? Urban exploration. Yeah. Just so, you know, you know trails, cool things we see, neat houses, just a historic cool areas. Rock, cool looking tree, the way it's shaped. Uh, yeah. Old houses, abandoned houses, creepy houses, uh, fancy houses. Some of them old, some of them might be new, but the design is awesome. Just, oh my goodness. Just oh, you got him. Okay, yeah, I got him. Just interesting stuff that you see out in the world and that people's <laughs> ideas came to reality. Oh, he grabbed like a, my fat. And I told her when she said that that it sounded like a great idea and something that we both would enjoy doing. So would some of you like to see an a, a urban exploration channel from me and him? Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I, again, I know it doesn't belong on a keto channel, but you chose to click on it. So let's have some fun and ride through historic Salisbury. <laughs> yeah, I know you think it's funny. Oh, oh, the arm fat. Who and baby peach. Enjoy y'all. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, all the good stuff. So we're in historic downtown Salisbury. And I thought I'd show y'all a few things because it does have a lot of really cool historical things in here. Um, it's also, you know, very crime-laced anymore, but some I super... What? There's a really pretty steeple for you. But it has some really cool older buildings. I thought I would show you uh, the next one after the courthouse, the old courthouse. I think that's kind of the new courthouse. It's part of the new courthouse. Anyway. But there's the old one. I really think the light is so there's the other. Yeah. So let's see it goes on, but we're gonna turn here because there's a cool church I want to show you guys. There is a lot of really historical places up through here. Yeah, I'll show them that in just right, we're gonna go back. And I think if we can do it, I'm going to show you all the Salisbury um, Castle, too. Some more historical places. The Shuck and Shack. I don't know what that is, but it is there. It's probably it's the tallest. Beautiful, beautiful city. That's she said the crime rate has really got insane. Where we don't even like to come up here because it's so dangerous. You know, I think this is the tallest building in Salisbury. <laughs> well, I'm talking about as far as... Building buildings go, not churches. We're going to go straight. So I do have my window down so it's clearer. So y'all have to overlook all the windy noise. The building looks newer. Check this out. They've got a, a street called, like, I think it's Pub Street or something. It's all bars, but it's very fancy. Yeah, you can see how old that building is. I love the lights. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot, lot, lot of historical I homes. I love the one beside it. Yeah. Beautiful, divine, and everything. Mm hmm. They can't see it yet, probably. Just riding through here, though. Sorry about the cracked windshield, guys. One of these days, we're going to get fixed. Another rock flew off the truck the other day and hit us over there, too. <laughs> um, there are governor's manors. Uh, his, uh, Salisbury was very steeped in the Civil War. You can see the old Victorian homes through here. That, that is beautiful. So many of them are beautiful, though. I would. I take any one of them. Y'all want to give me one? I take it. I live there without any arguments. The only issue with these homes is that 
just so packed together. They are very, very close together. A lot of them, I believe, have been turned into apartments, too. Hold on a minute, honey. I'll tell you which way to go. By the way, Salisbury does have walk-in historical tours, too. Of course, once in a while here, they have ghost walks and zombie walks and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that was one of the governor's houses. We went on a school field trip there, I believe. Church. So, I'm trying to figure out. I can't remember where the Salisbury Mansion is on. I think it's actually on this road here. Stay straight. But, no, it's back that way. I'm sorry. When we go down here, let's loop around and go straight back up. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a steeple up there. And right below it's an old building. Keep, keep pointing you. What about this? Okay, well, anyway, in the, under the building is buried a man with his horse. I'm not joking. <laughs> these are some of the historical manors and homes. I think I showed you these couple right here while ago. Yeah, this is the back back. <laughs> but these, these are on the historical tour, some of them. Or they were when I was in school, anyway. And I think the Salzburg Castle, is, as we like to call it, is coming up here in just a second. I just love this area. I love riding through it. Yes, the castle is definitely right there. Here we are. Is it not absolutely gorgeous? And there is the Salisbury Castle. I'm sure it's not as impressive as Biltmore, but hey, it's what I got. <laughs> and this is just one side of one part of the street here, guys. Um, of course, it's, it's on both sides, but I can really give you a good clear view of this side. I love these homes. Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> and I do believe all of these are historically protected. Yeah, we're out of that particular area, although those used to be. Go down to a couple lights and we'll loop back around and I'll show y'all the fallen soldier and some other stuff. Before we do that guys, I'm going to show you Salisbury High School and tell me this doesn't look like a daggone prison. Yep, that's the high school. Yeah, and it's, it's very cool looking there, very intricate, um, especially like the tower there. But to me, it looks like a, a, a correctional facility. Look, guys, it's the original food line. <laughs> Which, of course, burnt down, so it's not technically original no more. But I believe I heard that was the first one ever. These days, guys, I'll take you on a walk through that, that cemetery right there. there. Yeah, there are. There are some from the Civil War and everything. And I do believe we have, like, a National Cem uh, Civil War Cemetery out here, too. I'm not really sure where it's at. It might be that, actually. No, I don't know. I don't think it is though. I'm, I'm not positive. It, it is a historical marker there, so. There is a nice old church for you. See, some of this is, is really historic and some of it's kind of ewy, really. Um, there's a building coming up too that I, I absolutely love. I would love to own said building. Um, cause I think my kids would probably all fit in it, <laughs> but I'm not sure. So where is it? Come on. You coming up here? So I found you. It's down yonder. Um, we'll get there. Well. It's this concrete building right here. I love that place. As far as I know, it's been empty since I can We've already seen these buildings one time, but I'm going to show you the other side. When you get a chance, well, you can't turn here. Whoa. All right, get back on your side now. we got to go down and turn around so we can turn that way. Because it's a no turn. Here we go again. What is this? That's a little cemetery. Not all the other places in Athens, but this is a historical cemetery. No, that's not it. I knew that. Stop saying that. I don't know where it's at. Ok. 
careful. He's backing up somewhere. <laughs> like that stone looking building. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I like it. It's more churches. There it is. We're actually going to come up right beside of it. So, oh, okay. So, um, that statue right there. It's been, it's a, it's a Civil War soldier, I think a Confederate soldier with a, uh, an angel leading him up. And this has sparked a lot of controversy. A lot of people want it removed because of its historical significance. But in North Carolina, all statues are supposed to be protected, historical statues. So um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I did hear it was going to get a new home, but it's still there, so I don't know. Better to do that steeple. Okay. And that right there used to be one of my very, very favorite places ever. You can't really see it good because of all the construction going on. But that is the library. And I absolutely spent a ton of time up there when I was a child. I hear a lot of children. I don't know where they're. Oh, the daycare. Oh, it's a daycare or something. Little school. Whenever you get a chance, you gotta go that way. Okay. Ooh, wow. Wait. I know. A lot of one-way streets up through here now. That's beautiful. That's apartments. <laughs> so we're gonna turn here. There's another old building back there that I really like too. But I've never actually seen that one before. Hold on, we'll get by this uh, ice cream beverage shop. Can you see it again? That's a church. Huh. Didn't know there was a church back there. But I shouldn't be surprised. Salisbury has a ton of it. Of do you really? I do. I love historical it's stuff. I think it's awesome. awesome. Alright, so it's on my side this time. I'll just show you all this cemetery. I don't know if people are fascinated as I am with older cemeteries and stuff. Is he? on the Daniel Boone Cemetery. Daniel Boone's not buried there, but his mom and dad are uh, Squire and Sarah Boone, I believe. We were driving by and we just saw this old house sitting out here. I've never noticed it before. Check out the back. It's got all that moss growing over the uh, back of the the, sit, the roof. Up on this top, the, the, the roof is caved in. But that is a really, really cool old house. But how would you like to know that you raised your youngins with all this land, tons of land, and someday, long after your passing, somebody comes along and puts a damn Dollar General in your front yard. <laughs> but check it out. Sorry about the wind, you guys. Just want to show you all a couple places. That one and this old house up here. I think it, I just love the look of it. Eerie, creepy, cool, neat. So this one ain't old. I just like the color of it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. So again, would you like to see me make an urban exploration? I know, I really enjoy driving around for it. it the, the, if if y'all didn't see her, because she had the camera, but when she's doing this stuff, she gets a glow about her. I mean, she is just like a little kid, little girl in a candy store. It really is. She gets a kick out of it. And I enjoy it too. And, but seeing her enjoy herself is the most precious thing for me. Okay, guys. So, like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. And off to another one.